been a long time. Please, please, please calm down. And stop shouting. Stop shouting. I know it's been a long time, okay? But literally, I have no excuse whatsoever other than the fact that I love sleep and I hate uni and both combined is like uni and I have to wake up early, which I never do. So it's, I don't really know what my excuse is. I don't really know where I put my excuse is. I don't really know what I was getting at. But long story short, y'all, I'm back. Ideas. Literally, my window has idea one, idea two, and idea three right there. This is not one of the ideas on the thingy because I thought, hey, you know, let more people relate to my videos than just Adams. So yeah, I hope y'all can relate. So, anyways, this video title is high school memories because most people out there went to high school. If you didn't, you can, you know, here's the experience. You won't really miss out much. So here's some of the memories that I have created in high school. I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of skeptical talking about some of the things because I just didn't want to think, yo, is it just me that has experienced these awkward things or is it everybody else? But you know what, I'll find out at the end of this video. Do let me know what you think in the comment box down below. But yeah, here goes. So I'm sure that everybody has a lesson that they really, really hate and you know, because I'm not really, really that sporty and I just hate sports and I hate being outside and I hate jogging and I hate football and I just hate, I just really, really, really hate sports. My worst lesson was PE. Like, God damn it, like you just had to carry about 75 vials that are 75 kg all together and you're bare tiny as well. You're just like looking like this little humpa loompa and I don't really know, like, it just pissed me off. Like, why, why, why do we have to do PE? Like, I'm so sorry. Like, I'm not unhealthy. Like, my mum makes us go on diets at home, you know? like what else do you want so anyways forget that forget holding these 75 bags you go into PE and it's freaking snowing and it's like minus 75 degrees outside and your teacher's like it's not really that cold that's because you're wearing freaking 75 layers and a thermal coat like why you gotta do this to us huh and even worse when you get into PE and you just roll out and you're just like, hey, you know, today's raining, we're gonna do PE inside. And then she's like, we're going to do the bleed test. No, we're not. Well, I'm not, because I can't run. Well, have you ever, well, do you know what? PE wasn't my most hated lesson. I feel like that was my second most hated lesson because music. God damn it, I did not know what the hell even ever happened in that lesson. All I remember is, there was always that one group that just looked a bit gothic and looked a bit normal, but looked a bit, I don't really know, weird, like they just had their own little clique. And yeah, they just like, were, were in competition with everybody to make the greatest 2008 music video. And it's just like, girl, I don't even know what I was doing. Like, just take it, win the award for 2008 best music video. Ain't nobody caring. One of the first things I've like noticed about high school is when you're in year seven, year eight, year nine, you're just kind of like, you know, divided into into like two groups of the year. So your, well, my year was Y, the other year was X. Well, the other half of the year was X. And I'm telling y'all, until year 10, 11, I didn't really know half of the people that I was sat with. Literally, I'd go into maths class at the first day of year 10 and I'm like, yo, never seen your ugly face before where did you just come from so yeah i feel like that's kind of weird i don't really know like i feel like the whole point of high school is to get to know everybody but they you know just segregate you to x and y it's like uh why you gotta do that and another thing that has happened uh, pretty much i'm pretty much especially if you're Arab, like literally this always has to go back to if you're Arab. this has definitely happened that when you're in school your parents are like you know this is your time jenna this is your time to create all the memories that you can and all this bullshit and then i'm like uh, okay then, I'll start making memories. Yo mama, can I go to Yusuf's house party? Yusuf? No, you can't, love. Okay, well, you know, can I just go to the park after school with my... No. Right, okay, you're asking me to make memories, you're telling me to make memories, and then when I ask you, can I make memories, you're like, no. Just hold up, think about that, yo mama. Think about it. I know, my nails, I know, I know, I know. There's always an odd thing going on, but I don't know what to say about it. So yeah, swiftly moving on from talking about my nails, so, you know when you had homework due in for your science teacher and then you just go in and then you're just like, you know, I've done my homework and you're proper, proper convinced that you've done this homework that you actually haven't done and you start to put all these faces on and you're just like, yo, well, I'm gonna find it for you, I'm gonna find And then you come up with some lame ass excuse like, oh, must have left it on the bus. 
and it's just like imagine how many times a teacher has heard that if a long story short imagine if a teacher's been for five years or six years as a teacher and they hear that from at least like 20 to 70 percent of their students tell her an excuse that apparently they've done their homework and they actually haven't do you not think that they know but not gonna lie i bet you teachers the ones that act like you know we actually did our homework and you actually believe in us thanks y'all and no matter what Everybody's favorite lesson was the lesson where their teacher wasn't in and you had a supply teacher and everybody was just naughty acting like you were like animals in the zoo and then you'd make the supply teacher walk off crying to the head of science for example or some next thing. All I want to learn when I go to school is how to pay my tax, you know, how to deal in certain situations. I don't really care about Henry VIII or Pythagoras or whatever factors but you know what i remember sat there in in maths class when we were doing algebra and just i was just thinking like yo why am i doing algebra when exactly am i going to ever use it in the future and then you know what the teachers always said that you're going to use it in the future and everybody just sat there thinking like yo you're lying so it's fine we know you're lying but you know what guys i use it every single day in my law degree so if you believe that, you're just stupid. I'm so sorry, but like, we don't use algebra. We don't use maths. Do you know what? I can't even remember the last time I did maths. It was probably six years ago. Wow, I'm so old. Wow, that legit just hurt my feelings. So have you ever been in them lessons where you love it so much because it's your actual teacher, there's no supply teacher, everything's serious, but y'all be cracking jokes like y'all were besties, you know what I'm saying? Like one time I had this teacher, this was history by the way, and yo, I used to hate this teacher. She was too serious for my likings. Like, I don't really know. Like, she was just a bit too serious. So she used to go to us. Yeah, so my daughter, she's going out with this guy from the army. And I just always say to her, what would you do if his leg blew off? Would you still be going out with him? And then her daughter was like, no. And then anyways, I don't really care about this conversation. But I was like, yeah, is that what she said? Oh my God. Really? Is that what she said? Because you know what? I just want this lesson to be over and done with. O-V-E to the R and done with. Do you think I want it to be sat there doing history? Nah, man, that's not me. And the best memory goes to the teachers out there that say, guys, children, girls, because I went to a girls' school, girls, get in pairs and you and your best friend are just like. And it's just like, fam. The whole class now are in pairs, everybody's looking at your pedo face, you and your friend, and it's just like, y'all be feeling real, real awkward with your ugly faces, yeah? So just next time, just look at each other, smile at each other, and just be like, yeah, good, we, 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 we're a pair. No need for... No need for all... Like, yo fam, why are the retarded faces? It's your pedo though. Like fam, just look at each other, smile at each other, that's it. Like, yo, I'm so guilty of this, like, wh why the pedo face? Why? It's like, am I trying to prove that I'm more Arab than I actually am? No need for all of that, you know? I literally felt like I was having a spaz attack there. And there's always that one teacher that comes up with the story of I knew a kid that cracked his head open because he was kneeling on the chair. It's like, yo, do you think I'm gonna actually believe that though? Because I'm sure you barely believed it yourself when you were telling it me. So, no, but like this makes me feel super old because I used to live in the MSN days which were pretty cool but now comparing myself to my brother who comes home and goes on Instagram and Snapchat and I don't really know he's so concerned about Flappy Bird and Candy Crush I don't really know what else he plays to be honest with you because I don't really know but like I know Instagram and Snapchat because I use them long story short yo I used to make sure that I got home at a certain time because I knew when my friends were gonna come online we used to have bear banter catching bear jokes because we was on MSN and just to put it out there, nothing says more regret than the email address that you made when you was in high school. And you know that's true. Minnie Mouse loves you at hotmail.co.uk. Who the f is Minnie Mouse? Have you ever walked into English class and like, you don't even have an assigned seat, but like, there's somebody sat in your assigned seat, well, not so assigned seat, and you just like developed this real, real, real hatred towards them. Well, anyways, that didn't just happen to me when I was in school, when I was in class. That also happened to me when I got on the bus. Like, yo, that is my seat. Why did you sat there? I used to get so vexed, and it'll be like an old grandma that's 96 years old with her little shopping bags, and she ain't got no problem with it. And I just really hate her because she sat in my seat. Like, how could you do that to me? It's like, Suzanne, just get off my seat, okay? Chewing gum. In high school, it's like a drug dealing. Literally, it's not even just like a drug dealing. It's like, you know what blood is to vampires? 
chewing gum is that to students like yo I'm telling you you give a person a chewing gum and you trust them with your life to not tell another human being that they got that chewing gum off you and it's just like if I hear you say my name you're just never gonna get chewing gum ever again really there's not much of a threat there but you know what I mean like you just chewing gum is just bad deep I don't even know why it's so deep why people make it so deep like yo it only costs like 50p to get a pack of chewing gum just go get your own pack and pens why do people just steal them all the time I really know why I'm talking about this, like I'm fully guilty of this, like why? The English teachers, they don't honestly kill me, you know what, I used to love English. I didn't used to love English but it was one of my preferred subjects. And yo, the most thing that really really pissed me off is when your English teacher, like you know in class you're just reading a book, blah 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 blah, the carpet is blue. Why is the carpet blue Jenna? <laughs> because the author said it is? I don't really know. Don't be expecting an essay out of the carpet is blue and why the carpet why is the carpet blue? Fish, you gotta stop psychoanalyzing everything. The carpet is blue because my guy said it's blue. Flipping, I don't really know what his name was, the author. He said it's blue. Can we not just believe this blue because he wanted it to be blue and because he ran out of colours because the blood was red? No? Okay, calm, we good. Don't be expecting me to write an essay out of the carpet is blue. Like, yo, that's some next shit. Let's get these people that are forever ill, literally, always ill. They come back to school, they like acting all ill. But when they're ill and they're not in school, you see them at the school gates at the end of the day. Like, that used to kill me. I didn't really used to understand the whole thing. Like, why would you come and stand at the school gates? Yo, fam, I'm telling you, when I was in school, I used to love school, but I would never come to school to, like, stand outside. Like, I kind of had this love-hate relationship with school, but if I didn't need to be there, honestly, I wouldn't go anywhere near it. Like, why? It's not that deep. You want to see your friends you knock on at five o'clock okay ask to play with sarah have you ever done an exam and when you came out of that exam hall you was like flip this shit i ain't talking to nobody you're my best friend i am literally going blank i'm gonna walk right past you like i don't even know you because you know pretty damn well that 80 percent of the questions that you did you just guessed and 20 percent that were left they were like very easy it was like what's one add one and you didn't want to discuss them with your friends because you knew that for one question you got minus 27 and you can just overhear these people a bit saying how they got three and you're just like holy flip how the hell did i get minus 27 but you know what you could you walk out you know you thought you was getting 100 percent because you revised the day before but you're not gonna get 100 percent because you're gonna even get like 30 percent of the street so yeah anyways guys that is the end of my video i hope it rekindled some memories of yours and of your high school memories let me know if you can relate do give me a thumbs up do comment in the comment box down below do subscribe to my channel and i don't know what that was share my video and follow me on social media at jana jojo x so peace and love y'all well i'm not gonna lie that was actually a pretty good video